Hi folks, how are you all doing today? Today we will be learning about um, space around and all, right? So we have learned about margin spaces and padding spaces, the width and height properties, how to use them on Thunkable, right? What are the different options we have? So we have learned all of uh, this in our previous session, right? So I would just now like to um, give you more information about um, the space around vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment, right? Because this is something which is, um, which is very important to understand while aligning your components and while designing the app, right? So let's see and understand what exactly um, is all about the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment. What are the different values inside that, right? And how can we use them, okay? So just before that, I would just like to drag few labels onto the screen. You can also drag a text input, no issues. So this is just for um, understanding things. We need few components on the screen, okay? So, yes, now let's click on this uh, screen to get the screen properties, right? Before starting off with this, I would also like to remind you all guys that if you're new here, please do subscribe to my channel, Folks Hub. And if you've not, if you have not been watching my series yet, please start with the uh, some playlist and you can uh, start watching the videos there's so much of content already present and uh, it's definitely there is so much more content which is coming up right so there's a lo long way to go and uh, yeah we have started our journey now right so please please uh, like comment share and subscribe to my channel and support me and then Let's not waste our time, right? <laughs> let's not delay anymore and get start. Let's get started with the vertical alignment part first. So, vertical alignment, the name itself will suggest you that vertically it is uh, aligning the elements, right? So, let's see. Let's click on center and then see. Okay, so we have uh, all these values for the vertical alignment. So, when I say top, all the alignments are trying to be on top. Okay. So they are on like mostly occupying how many how much of a space they want to occupy, right? So whatever it is, they are trying to occupy and be on the top, right? Of course, if the space is not sufficient, it will come down. Yeah, that that's quite obvious. Okay. But yes, they are trying to be on top. So right from the top, the alignment has started. Okay. They are packed like the elements now. Okay. And this is about the vertical alignment top and bottom will make all the align um, sorry all the elements to get aligned in the bottom of the screen right so they all will try to be in the bottom yes of course if the space is not sufficient they'll they'll try to come up right so from bottom it like it's like building things towards the top okay so for the top it it's like building things from top okay or creating elements from top and it it occupies the screen right so top and bottom are just like the same from top, if you want to get the alignment, you can give top. From bottom, if you want to align them, bottom. Center, all the elements will try to be in the center, right? This is the default value, basically. So I just uh, dragged all the components and they were all trying to be in the center only, right? And then now uh, we have space between. Space between will actually make your components, like uh, the first component will be on the top, will stick to the top. And the last component will stick to the bottom and then all all other components will al align themselves with equally uh, getting equal spaces between them, right? So this is space between, okay? And space around will have some gap on the top and some gap in the bottom and then they'll equally get spaced among the complete screen, right? So this is what is happening with the space between and space around. Space between, it doesn't leave any gap on top and bottom. Space around it leaves some gap on top and the bottom and then all the elements will try to align themselves in within the screen, right? Uh, which, which also has equal spaces between them, okay? They are equally spaced now, right? So this is about the vertical alignment, okay? And horizontal alignment, so if you want all the elements to uh, towards left of the page, you can give left alignment, 
okay and if you want all the elements to be in the right of the page so you can give right and if you want all the elements to be in the center of the page you can give center and it's it's just like the stretch so the elements will stretch themselves and try to occupy the entire screen space okay so this can't be stretched more because i gave absolute size for this button you can see for the other elements they're trying to stretch over and uh, they're trying to occupy the entire screen right but yes if uh, if you give like special size for any particular element right maybe relative size or absolute size so they'll take or they'll occupy that size only okay so beyond that they can't really increase themselves because we are uh, limiting them to that okay so this is all about the horizontal alignment thing we have we can align left right or center or we can stretch the elements and yeah this is the most preferred uh, thing right and vertical alignment we have top bottom center space between and space around based on the need you can uh, like let's suppose you don't want really uh, i mean you really don't want to align the elements uh, manually right then you can actually use space around or space between it's like based on the need up to you okay so yeah these these options really are very helpful uh, while designing any app okay so that's why we are discussing this in the in a special session like this and yeah there are so many other components which we will be discussing in our next sessions so i'll be letting you know about all those things right we are learning thinkable now we've started this journey and uh, there, there are so many things to learn in thinkable right so slowly and gradually you will be learning uh, these things okay in screen we also have a scrollable property so if you want to make your uh, screen scrollable you can actually make this to true okay so if the if there are any elements which are trying to overflow right then you'll get the scroll bar on the right you can scroll down okay so and all other screen properties are explained right so we have seen all these things and there are few advanced properties we'll learn about these advanced properties later okay so yes this is all about the vertical alignment and horizontal alignment in thinkable okay so if you have any questions or concerns you can do let me know in the comment section below so this was all about our today's session guys i know this is this is a very simple and small session but yet very helpful while designing your apps okay so let's meet in the next session guys i'll um until then you know what you have to do you just have to watch all my videos in sequence please do subscribe to my channel like and comment so share the videos uh, let these um, spread all over and yeah i'll be meeting you all in the next session bye bye guys thank you so much for watching this video have a great day all